Pelakon dan salam sejahtera anda sedang menonton sudut pandang Malam ini saya ingin meneruskan perbincangan daripada semalam Yang membicarakan tentang satu persidangan yang sedang berlangsung di Hotel Istana ya. persidangan, persidangan yang memikirkan bagaimana untuk membawa kemajuan ilmu dalam umat Muslim itu sendiri The International Conference on Muslim and the Frontiers of Knowledge in the 21st Century Issues, Prospects and Challenges Um, dan saya amat berbesar hati kerana hari ini saya ada seorang yang begitu terkemuka sekali apabila saya baca profil ataupun latar belakangnya dari Wikipedia ya. dan tidak selalu kita mendapat ilmuan uh, Melayu, ilmuan Islam, ilmuan dari Malaysia untuk berada dalam senarai seperti ini dan oleh itu saya ingin uh, minta izin untuk berbicara dalam bahasa Inggeris untuk manfaat kepada mereka yang menghadiri persidangan ini dan juga rakan-rakan kita yang dari luar negeri uh, I would like to thank once again uh, Dr. Muhammad Afifi Al Akiti. He's uh, he has a lot of jobs. If I understand it correctly, okay. I'll try this first one. Fellow in Islamic Studies at the Oxford Centre for Islamic Studies, and also an Islamic Centre lecturer in Islamic Studies at the Faculty of Theology, University of Oxford, who also holds a lectureship in world religions at Orchester College, and you teach Christianity too. Yes, indeed. Oh, Wor Worcester College. That's, <laughs> okay, that's how Worcester. Say it, sorry, indeed, yeah. Worcester College. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never been there. Um, he is the first ever Malay to be appointed to such a position, according to Wikipedia. Uh, first of all, congratulations. But uh, I would like to bring the topic back to 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 the uh, conference, and uh, a lot of thoughts have been have been put out there on why is it that the Ummah hasn't reached the excellence of before mm. maybe in the 11th, 12th or 13th century mm. and uh, lack of achievement in sciences for example and uh, lack of debate for example and the, uh, the culture that doesn't allow for all this to come up and maybe the focus more on Fardu Ain instead of Fardu Kifaya all these have given a lot of mixed signals so being a scholar born in Malaysia but surviving well and <laughs> lecturing in, in, in Oxford for example how do you look at, at this uh, predicament right now because you not only have to look at it from the Ummah perspective but you also have to adjust and accommodate that to the views of the non-Muslim especially the Europeans out there for example how do you look at this particular problem that we have right now well I see this as um, something where our community, the Ummah, has forgotten some of our basic core uh, values. Um, just to give you a simple example, talking about Oxford for instance, the university there employs a system in which those of us who understand the classical Islamic tradition well mm -hmm. um, do so there at Oxford. Um, Oxford and Cambridge, uh, Oxbridge for example, excels over the other universities, even in the Western tradition. And, you know, a simple example of this. No other universities in the West would have a communal dinner in the way that you would be used to watching Harry Potter. Okay. Okay. Makanda mm -hmm and all the murid murid dudo on the tables and the fellows will go up and go to a high table but the first thing they will do is they will wait for the head of the table to say the dua which they call grace mm -hmm. now, this is an example which um, i've always thought of and i say this to my students what makes Oxford and Cambridge different from the other universities in the West? Mm -hmm. um, perhaps this is one example. It highlights what Oxford has borrowed from the Islamic tradition a thousand years ago, okay. 800 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, things which we value in our tradition, which we say encapsulated best in the saying of the ulama, when they say, Al-Muhafaza ala qadimi salih, well, to preserve the best of what the ancients have left us however we cannot only stop at preserving the best of what the
classical, the Salaf, the old tradition has, you know, left us. But we must also learn to adapt. Well, akhdu bil jadid al We must also learn to acquire, adapt, use the very best of the modern things on offer to us today.